Helix. I don't know where I am. I'm in Seattle. We're here for an event of Part 2018. For the last eight years, the whole industry has been talking about responsive web design. And responsive web design, RWD, has been the buzzword, the big topic. And that term was introduced here at Event Apart in Seattle eight years ago this week. And today, uh, Jen Simmons introduced a new concept, uh, a term that she coins intrinsic web design. And intrinsic web design is kind of like the next big thing, she thinks, for the web. And it's not so much a new thing, like a new technology or a new set of tools, but rather a new terminology to help frame a discussion around what is capable now on the web. We have so many new tools at our disposal with new CSS that we can create different, new and different kinds of designs on the web that were not possible uh, even just a couple of years ago. And so all of these things, different ways of flowing content, different ways of doing layout, are kind of helping to bridge the gap between what designers want and what has traditionally been possible on the web. And so now those things are coming closer together and we're able to have such a new kind of design in the web and it's really exciting. So I think, it, I mean it remains to be seen, but over the next couple months and years, the conversation could shift from being everything about uh, responsive web design to this new idea of intrinsic web design. Like the content itself kind of determines the layout, the intrinsic properties of the content kind of determine how it flows and how it uh, is fluid and how it lays itself out in the web. And I think that's a, a really interesting thing and we were here to kind of kick off that concept. So I'm excited to see how that topic evolves over time. Helix.